With the new anime MF Ghost coming out, uh, based on Initial D, we're going to see the biggest battle that they, you had in, back in the day, which was Yosuke Takahashi versus the AE86. Oh, you gotta love that freaking rotary engine! Gotta love it! FR, both F FRs. Both are FRs. None of them are FFs, so they're both FRs. This is the big stuff, man. This is the big battle. This is absolutely a battle that was like, holy shit. When I watched it, when I first watched the freaking thing, dude is focused. Laser focused. Everything is set for battle. Then Eurobeat! Eurobeat goes insane! I freaking love the background. Yes. First battle here is to let the opponent get ahead. Low pass from behind. That's how he's beaten every opponent somehow. Oh my god. I love Eurobeat, man, in the background. Look at that. Look at that. Rusuke Takahashi is keeping up. He's putting a lot of pressure right on him. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. Getting that pressure going. They won't. They won't collide. They absolutely will not. They won't. They trust each other too much. They absolutely do. I'm surprised. His counter steer angle of approach has decreased in only half a month. Pronounced counter steer he make after his turn in this banshee. It's progressed in a very short time. Yes. But it won't change the outcome. I'm still winning this. Ah, this is just ah, this is just the best. Oh my god, this is just the best. <laughs> oh my god, Euro beating the background. Takami kicking ass. Josuke Takahashi putting tons of pressure. The trust that they have doing the side by side drift like that. And Takahashi just right there, man. Perfectly. Of course he would be. Roski would not, not going to let you go. He ain't going to let you go. He's waiting for you to make a mistake. He's waiting for you to see that pressure. And just be like, ah, no. Not giving in. This guy is, is like calculated everything. Step by step. Yep. Having someone sticking like that. Yeah. It's common sense in the racing world that pursuing has a little more of a technical and mental advantage than running. Sure does. When you're up against Yosuke Takahashi, the pressure he puts on you is nothing to sneer at. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can tell. Ah, I would not be able to do this. I would not be able to take it. Holy shit. Amazing. It gives me goosebumps. A beginner racer goes fast on the straightaways. An intermediate masters the corners. Yep. An advanced racer takes the lead on a third part, neither straightaway nor corner. Mastering Everything's the balanced. Of my theory of street speed supremacy. I think I'd need a near perfect example of that theory here. Yes! Project D! Project D was popping up around that time! Reproducing them by myself would be difficult, even for me. This guy is a monster. He's a natural. It's no use. I can shake him. But the thing is, it's the it's the limit of his engine. What the hell kind of segment time is that? Eight seconds faster than the exchange race we had before. Eight seconds, really? That is super fast. That is super duper fast. In racing, a, a half a second is a lot. And the, and the freaking Eurobeat just gets you going, man. It just gets you going. Holy shit. Ah, oh, man, this thing is like, ah. Dude, I'm getting goosebumps just watching it. Trust yourself, Takumi! Trust yourself! Lose it, I'm going to. Of course you're not! But don't push that AE86 too much! Remember, you have the stock engine, I think. Holy shit! That's like impossible! But that's insane. Huh? That is very insane. They're pushing themselves too hard. This has gotten way too dangerous. It is! A battle to the very limit that only these two could wage. 
It is absolutely true. And it risks their health. It risks their safety. Because you're pushing it beyond. You're going the extreme of your tires, the extreme of your engine, the extreme of everything. Your psyche is getting used up. Look at him, he's already tired. It's a lot of mental tiredness. You won't be able to turn. Slow down. Yep, nope. He's he's pushing it way too far. Yeah, no, he fucked up. He pushed it too far. That's the thing. He went too far. He he's not gonna be able to catch up. Even with his advanced technique, he's not used to battles. Surprisingly fragile. My plan has been to tail him longer and keep my cards close to my vest. And now that I've taken the lead, I'll leave him in the dust and lock in this victory. I mean, that's what you do. Usually, in the downhill, if you're passed by anybody, it's an immediate loss. Even better than I heard. The acceleration of those two cars is stronger than the average for the kids' rights. But it's all over. Kakashi, he's won this battle, hasn't he? I think so, since he's in the lead now. Yeah, usually. Talk about blind severity. Oh no, of course you're not gonna do that and 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 Usually when you get past in a race like that you're done Now he's got his focus back he's got his focus back which is what happens when you're following versus being followed. You feel that big pressure on the back of you. I'm gaining on him. No. Uh, this is what this this is oh. Ah, uh, it's so so painful seeing it. Ah. My front tire grip. Right at the end. Still, even if my tires are losing some of their grip, technique is as good as ever. I win. Yeah, of course the front tires are using the, losing their grip because downhill you push a lot of pressure on your front tires. You're braking, your front tires are taking all of it. If you... Ah, dude, he's pretty much lost. But let's see if he can do it. Oh, he's still putting that pressure. Holy shit. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's an L turn. very close now. Someone's got a do or die trick to pull. It'll have to be here. The straightaways needed for speed after a battle of the brakes. It's the only three lane corner on the normally narrow. Oh, near. Oh, well, that, that means they can go a little bit faster. Soon after that, those two overlapping our corners. Whoever has the lead coming out of those corners will win the race hands down. But the thing is, this is Roski Takahashi. It's one of the Takahashi brothers. He, he doesn't lose. That, that's the thing. How do you attack against the, like a perfect downhill ace? You can't. He makes. Yes. Well, that's what you want him to think, isn't it? N n side by side drifting like that, you need a lot of trust in the in just the the sheer experience of the other person. Oh, he did it! He he went outside and then he he wow! How did he get a, a thinner and inner line like that? When they're both of their things, damn! He just barely made it. Holy shit! When both of them, holy crap! Now he just passed them again. He won. He won. That is how that Ryosuke Takahashi and uh, Takumi thing happened. That was. A race of the ages back in the day in initial D in the er, initial initial D that was a one that convinced Josuke Takahashi to get Takumi under his project D which was basically making like a, a a perfect street racing moving into like professional racing type of uh, maneuver and type of team to be able to beat any downhill racer and just basically have uh, Roske Takahashi make all of the moves, make like the full strategies. Takumi follows it, and Takumi wins. That was the initial thing all, all about that. That was what this was all about. I was so into it, and as you can tell, I still am. Let me know down below if you enjoyed this. Let me know down below if you want me to do more of these things, because as you can tell, this is bringing back nostalgia, and I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. This is your Mad Salvi. I will be seeing you all next time. Bye-bye!